Mice and Men have released a new track called Unbreakable, the first song since they lost Austin Carlyle, who left the band a couple of months ago. Um, when I saw they were releasing this song, it kind of put a bad taste in my mouth because it seemed like they couldn't really wait for Austin to leave. They just, as soon as he left, they just went, fuck the record we released last year. Let's just go and do a new one straight away. Um, so, Unbreakable kind of solidifies everything I was worrying about after Austin left the band because now Of Mice and Men just kind of sounds like just every other metalcore band on the planet. And that's really sad because they've been one of the shining lights in the metalcore scene for a very, very long time. And with Austin leaving, it's become really obvious why they were one of the shining lights. And it's because of Austin. He has such a signature style to his voice. His lyricism was always brilliant. And he just added so much character to that band. And now you listen to the new song and it's just, Aaron's a good vocalist, but he's just a generic vocalist. He's just sounds like every other vocalist in this genre. And his screams are just, you know, they, they don't pack the same punch. And the lyrics in the track are also just not good at all. I'm just not a fan. This podcast has started out really, really negative. Um, it will get more positive as it goes on because there are some actual really good songs to talk about. But yeah, this new Of Mice and Men song is not great at all. So let's see what you guys are saying about it. Um, Raybred, I like how most people don't like them, but you love them. I absolutely love Of Mice and Men. And I started to love them even more after I um, hung out with them a bit. Um, They're really cool guys. It's not their fault that Austin had to leave. It's just he w- he added so much to that band and now that they don't have him there, it's just, it's not the same. Um, Unbreakable is a whole new level of meh. Even the song title makes me cringe. Uh, Flood was a perfect album. Now they sound like Skillet or Screaming. I've never listened to Skillet, so I can't really judge off that, but they do sound like that American burger and fries um, music now. Um I hated it and I like metalcore. I don't have a great relationship with metalcore anymore, but yeah, I hated it as well. I didn't hate it. I don't think it's horrible. I just don't think it is anything special. Um, Anything else about the Of Mice and Men track? Uh, As far as the new All Time Low song goes, I'm not going to review that because I didn't listen to it because I only listened to two songs um, from a record before it comes out. Same with the Blink track, yeah. Um, So any more about Of Mice and Men or should I move on on? Move on, on. Good English, man. Good fucking English. Um, all right, let's move on. Also, Austin did actually come out and say that he was proud of the dudes and he did want them to continue and all that kind of stuff. So um, I was hesitant about Austin saying that because it did take a couple of days, but... Now that he said that, like, that's a good thing. I'm glad that they're on good terms. But yeah, this track's just not great at all. I didn't actually get through it the first time. 